You need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. Oh, hi, Mrs. Griffin. You know, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about Stewie. I'm concerned that he might have an attention problem. Attention problem? Yes, he's been a little difficult to deal with. And on page two of three in the How to Be a Teacher manual, it says that any child who's being difficult should be medicated. What? Drugging a baby? Are you sure? That sounds so serious. I'm afraid his behavior has been an issue for a while. He's even been bothering students during nap time. Hey, you up? Guess where I have a crayon. So I spent like $75 on cat toys, and what does she play with? A shoelace. That's crazy. Joe, that's been your answer every time I tell a story. It's like you're not even listening. Well, that's because you interrupted me when I was telling you about Kevin trying to hang himself with an extension cord. I know, that's crazy. Hey, y'all want to try some of our new food? I'm trying to turn this place into a gastro pub. These are the Korean tacos, because whatever the hell nowadays. Ah, these are terrible. Oh, <laughs> Quagmire, when it comes to tacos, I'll trust the Koreans, thank you. You're nuts. This tastes like Ani DeFranco after a bike ride. Jeez, Quagmire, since when are you such an expert on food? For your information, I'm an excellent cook. You? A cook? <laughs> What's your specialty? No way souffle? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was out of line. I am a good cook, and I'll prove it to you. Saturday night, you and all your wives are coming to my place for dinner. Fine, we'll be there. Oh, can we make it Sunday? Saturday, I'm giving Javier Bardem a haircut. So, what'll it be? Everything. What do you mean? Long in the short places, short in the long places. It should be from both the future and the past. Something a child would do to a doll. Wow, when did you learn to cook, Glenn? Well, as a young man, I found that a great meal was the quickest way to a woman's heart. How romantic. I mean, how do you think NBA players get all those chicks? They're all great cooks. Except Kobe Bryant. His, his secret is different. Quagmire, you're really good. You could probably make money at this. Yeah, maybe you could open a restaurant. Or maybe get a cooking show. You know, the 1130 cooking show on Channel 5 needs a new host. The old one burned off his eyebrows and was just too weird to look at. You should do it, Quagmire. I'll even come along and cheer you on. You'd do that for me? Of course I would. I love cheering people on. Like when I go to NASCAR. Go in a circle! Go in a circle! Go in a circle! Advertise stuff! Advertise stuff! Go in a circle! As I'm walking you through the steps, watch your screen for Junior Chef Peter's pop-up tips. Helpful hints and food factoids to make your meal a success. Now you can want to start with a large self-sealing plastic bag. And in that bag, we'll combine one large finely chopped garlic clove, one tablespoon of grated peeled fresh ginger, two teaspoons of five spice powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. And then you're gonna wanna add the duck breasts, seal the bag, and refrigerate that for at least one hour, or up to 24 hours if you wanna prepare this ahead of time. Just make sure you remove the bag from the refrigerator one hour before cooking. You're gonna put that in your oven, preheated to 400 degrees. So we just spoon on the drippings and that'll brown the skin nicely. If you bang these metal spoons on everything, it's like stomp. Look at me! I'm huge in 2002! Peter. Nothing like a night at the theater that ends in a headache. Damn it, Peter, that's it! I can't do this show with you anymore! You're fired! What? You can't fire me! Only Mr. Spacely can fire me! Griffin! You're fired! Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Peter, can I come in? Hold on, let me put on my weird old actress turban. Yes? Listen, I saw what happened, but you should know we at the station would hate to lose you. You're a big hit with the viewers. I will not work with that man again. I'm not asking you to. In fact, we'd like to offer you your own cooking show. Hmm, let me consult with my lawyer. Well, Peter, since the DUIs happen so close together, we don't really have much wiggle room here. I suggest you take the jail time and just get it over with. I'll do it. After October 13th. Hey, Joe, Peter and I are going head-to-head -head in that cooking competition, and they're letting us each use an assistant. Will you help me out? Okay, but just promise me there's no reading. I'm not a strong reader. What? I'm not illiterate. I'm just slow. What are you talking about? I never tried hard in school, because I could always run fast. So you're cool with being my chef helper for the big show? Sure, but I gotta be honest. If it ain't a fish with whiskers, I don't know what to do with it. But if it is? Then sweet sassy molassy. <laughs> Great, don't talk that way when we're on the show.